Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm working on my Moleskin uh, sketchbook journal to create another art journal page. Uh, this is going to be a quite messy one, uh, a little bit different than my usual style, but I had a lot of fun creating it uh, and I wanted to share anyway. Um, it's not a perfect one, but certainly a fun one. I'm starting with uh, putting some uh, washi tape here and there to create some interest at the background. I have these washi tapes from the washi tape shop. Um, and uh, I find these type of uh, uh, designs like letters or um, numbers very versatile. Uh, now it's time to give some color. Uh, I'm going to use my Dina Wakely acrylic sprays. Uh, normally I would spray them, but unfortunately everything is clogged. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like about these sprays. It's very hard to handle uh, because acrylic paint uh, dries uh, permanent and turns into plastic and clogs it. Um, it's better to uh, store it horizontally. That helps, uh, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, that's why I used my brush uh, and uh, some spray to uh, to create the journal page. I started with the yellow color and I'm switching to the um, pink now. This is like a bubblegum pink. Um, and as you see I am fighting with the spray but couldn't manage uh, to get it spray. So I'm using the same method. Is the other one. I'll just uh, do it with my brush. And after this, I'm going to switch to the turquoise colors. Um, and I think these th three colors uh, create a really nice, vibrant background. Let's see if this is going to spray. So, the same story as the <laughs> pink one. Uh, I end up uh, using the brush to spread the rest of the colors. Nevertheless, uh, at least there is some use uh, to use these uh, sprays um, and I am spraying some water. Uh, after that I forgot to uh, hit the record button unfortunately but what I did is I uh, used this uh, stencil from Funky Fossil Designs. This, uh, this is one of Elena Zinski designs uh, that she has uh, with them and uh, I used a few uh, colors the same colors that you see at the background um, to uh, go over the stencil with my uh, blending tool, uh, normal technique, uh, nothing fancy. Uh, so I have a lot of interest at my background, uh, which is a bit crazy at the moment. Um, now I'm just uh, sticking down my focal point. This is a, a digital stamp from Elena Zinski Art one of my absolute favorite artists as you know and I can't uh, stay away from her designs for long because they are so uh, vibrant and funny and you know uh, it puts a smile on my face and this girl uh, with the hair um, I think this uh, the stamp set is called the saloon uh, so it's about you know uh, women's uh, care routines the hair uh, nail polish and everything it's very girly um, and uh, I just wanted to use it on a very colorful vibrant page I am using other elements from the uh, stamp set that I printed out and these uh, come all colored uh, I'm not sure if there was a not colored version I am sure there is uh, but um, I can't remember exactly, so don't uh, hold me to it. Uh, I will put the link down below at the description area for sure for you to be able to uh, buy it. So check out the description area. Uh, I am now uh, going to create a border so that because the background is crazy, so that there is a bit of contrast between all these uh, crazy backgrounds uh, with all the colors and my border. Uh, I think it will uh, draw the attention to the center. I used my marker to do that and uh, to make my girl prominent I went around the girl with my uh, black pen as well. Look how different it looks uh, because the background is uh, so busy. Uh, I wanted to do it uh, with all my um, elements. 
with the other scissors and sprays and so on as well and I'm using my white gel pen to uh, hide to make the highlights on my elements as well I want to bring a bit of white to the picture too uh, I'm going to draw this woman's um, shoulders and I gave her polka dots uh, on her dress uh, and I'm going to do the same for the border I think it's too black it will be nice to have some white contrast so I'm drawing a line all around the edges and also I, you will see that I'm going to give the polka dots to the, uh, uh, to the border as well so that it all matches with the girl's uh, outfit and it looks like it's an extension of it uh, and I think it will look really nice as you see this way it looks uh, so much better uh, with all that uh, colorful uh, background and uh, contrasting black border and the white dots uh, I think it looks uh, really nice and whimsical now after this I think it's time for the sentiment here is a, a stamp set that I have from before from Inka Dinka Do I'm not sure if it's available it's just in my stash and it's uh, one of the whimsical uh, alphabet stamps that I have so I'm going to pull it out and stamp my sentiment and my sentiment is uh, self care is the best care uh, and I'm going to mix two uh, stamp sets to uh, to write my sentiment. Uh, I have this wooden little alphabet set from uh, Dovecraft as well. Um, so I'm going to uh, make self uh, and best uh, with these uh, whimsical alphabet and the rest will be smaller. Uh, but as you see um, I didn't calculate well and uh, one of the letters is uh, falling to the uh, spine where uh, there is busy uh, washi tape uh, but uh, you will see from the pictures that I went over the letters with black more so it's more prominent uh, so in the pictures afterwards uh, it became better and after uh, I decide uh, that I don't like these uh, washi tapes that are in the middle it makes things more complicated so I change my mind and I remove them uh, washi tapes are good uh, because they can be removed too easily uh, and here you can see you can change your mind uh, anytime you want uh, I'm going to use the same colors and ink pads to go through these empty spaces to blend these parts inside the page I think it looks okay um, and uh, I'm going to glue a few nail polishes here and there uh, uh, that will add uh, a bit more fun uh, to the page and uh, also it looks nice uh, all around the edges uh, this colorful nail polish going over the uh, black uh, border uh, and I can't stop uh, adding them uh, these are all in the same digital stamp by the way so if when you buy it there are many elements that come with it um, here is a more on top and with this I think I'm, um, I'm done with this page it's more busy than uh, I would normally uh, create but I'm really happy with it it's so vibrant and uh, whimsical and I love the visuals um, and uh, the uh, sentiment speaks for itself uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, watching this video too if you did please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe or leave a comment again the uh, link to the digital stamp set by Elena is down below at the description area thank you so much for watching and see you next time